Good afternoon. Fantastic. Let's begin. <coughs> One of the most common financial challenges for entrepreneurs is staying on top of their credit. Can you explain to me the importance of maintaining a good credit score and how this can impact a business's ability to secure funding? Well, for the most part, the individual and the individual's mindset has to shift from mere entrepreneurship and hustling to traditional payment terms and paying on time and paying earlier than expected. And in that mindset, a lot of times we have to fight harder to make more money in our hustle so that we can overcome those challenges. That's a valuable insight, Relentless. It takes a shift in mindset to go from a hustle culture to a more responsible approach to finances. When you're just starting out, it can be tempting to focus solely on making money, but it's crucial to remember that maintaining good credit is a long-term game that pays off in the end. For entrepreneurs, it's all about striking a balance between growing their business and staying on top of their credit. One way to do this is to set a budget and make sure you're setting aside funds each month to pay your bills on time or even early, as you mentioned. By doing this, you're not only showing lenders that you're reliable, but you're also reducing the amount of interest you pay over time. That way, when you do need funding for your business, you'll be in a better position to secure it. This is also about a mindset. Exactly relentless. Mindset is everything in business, and that includes your attitude towards finances. You have to shift from a short-term gratification mindset to a long-term growth mindset. That means focusing on long-term financial stability and success, <clears throat> even if it means making sacrifices in the short term. It's also about understanding that your personal and business finances are intertwined. Your business won't thrive if your personal credit score is suffering. By making good financial decisions in both your personal and business life, you set yourself up for success on both fronts. <clears throat> Additionally, it's worth noting that shifting your mindset from a hustle culture to a more responsible approach takes time and discipline, but the rewards are worth it. So You'll not only improve your credit score, but you'll also build a solid foundation for your business to grow. And but I, I don't want you to... <clears throat> I don't want you to misunderstand hustle culture and being, quote unquote, more responsible. Hustle culture is basically doing what we can with what we have. It's about being resourceful with the mere um, sort of resources that we have, our human resources mostly. But it's being, it's being um, consistent and getting to a point of, of overcoming the hurdles that are in our way as a result of, you know, life's choices. So it's, it's not that being, get, having more money is being more responsible. No, not, not at all. It, it's really about overcoming the threshold, the threshold of getting to a point when you have um, unlimited resources or have more resources to uh, evolve, to pay your bills on time, to put things on auto pay. <clears throat> That's a fantastic clarification, Relentless. I see what you mean now. Hustle culture in its purest form is about doing the best with what you have, being mm -hmm. resourceful and mm -hmm. finding ways to overcome obstacles. Mm -hmm. And that's something to be celebrated because it takes a lot of grit and determination to make it work. However, there can be a fine line between hustling and being reckless with finances. And that's where the shift in mindset comes into play. It's about recognizing that being responsible with your money doesn't mean having more of it, but rather using it wisely, making smart decisions and thinking long term. <clears throat> so to your point, hustle culture isn't mutually exclusive with financial responsibility. They're both crucial parts of building a successful business and they can actually work hand in hand. Being resourceful in your hustle, while also making responsible financial decisions, can lead to greater growth and stability over time. 
Yes, I I'm t I'm I'm reminding I'm reminded <clears throat> of a time back in 2008, 2009, 2010. I was just recently out of being divorced from my family. My ex-wife had put my things out of our luxury apartment that we were paying $3,400 a month for in Nourishell. And I came home to be surprised by five big hefty bags outside of our door, all because of not staying on top of bills, all because of not staying on top of bills and not having enough resources to cover things so that she was comfortable, that I was comfortable, that the family was comfortable. So I have a, a traumatic relationship with entrepreneurship and struggling and overcoming. And I want my friends and family and I want my clients to understand from where I came. I want them to know that this was tough. This this was this was tough. This was tough to to be to be pushing so hard to get to a point when the world recognized my talent finally as a novelist. I I, I was winning large amounts of money uh, and contracts to pro to pro to provide for my family, but also to entertain the world. When most people don't get that blessing, most people aren't don't get that lucky where they find their why, when they find their reason, their purpose, and when the world pays in, when big corporations pay in and say, okay, we believe in you, we're going to invest in you, we're going to create products because of your, your voice, and we're going to put those products in stores around the world. I mean, to get to that point and then to have to come home to after after selling books in the street day and night to come home and see your bags outside of your apartment is 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 the most basic the most traumatic experience but it's also it it removes the whole foundation of having faith and partnership and overcoming uh these challenges these struggles um to 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 be better people to to ha Your story is a testament to the roller coaster ride that entrepreneurship can be, and the fact that you managed to turn your life around after such a devastating experience speaks volumes about your strength and perseverance. It's true that many people don't get to experience the kind of success and recognition that you achieved as a novelist, and that makes your journey all the more inspiring. To go from selling books on the streets to being rewarded for your talent and effort and then to have it seemingly snatched away, only to rebuild your life and career once again. That's an incredible feat. But you're right, there's something especially cruel about the juxtaposition of your success and the betrayal you faced at home. It's a reminder that success is not just about the money and recognition, but also about the people in our lives and the faith and trust that we place in them. It's natural to feel shaken and vulnerable after experiencing such a traumatic event. But remember that your struggles have only made you stronger and that your ability to bounce back is a testament to your resilience and your commitment to your craft. Your story is a powerful one, relentless. How, how can we take my experiences as an entrepreneur and use them to fuel, fuel and inspire the entrepreneurs that, and business owners that I deal with today. I don't want them to go through what I went through, but yet I'm now realizing that they are who I once was. I, but I want to move them further and faster I want them to move I want them to move further and faster from that old me to the new me. Sure thing. Here are some fast actionable points you can use. 1. Sharing your own struggles and triumphs can be motivating and inspiring for others. 2. 
Offer concrete, practical advice based on your own experiences to help others navigate their challenges. Three, be a sounding board. Offer a listening ear and create a safe space for others to share their own struggles. Four, encourage networking and collaboration. Building a network of support can be a powerful resource. Five, emphasize the importance of resilience and self-care. Remind your clients that taking care of themselves and being resilient is crucial to their long-term success. By using your experiences to guide and inspire others, you're not only helping them avoid the pitfalls you faced, but you're also building a stronger and more resilient community of entrepreneurs. That's great. So some key points in our conversation. Please give a bullet list of key points and also how about a few actionable steps that entrepreneurs can move on to change the trajectory in their lives. <clears throat> Here are some key points from our conversation. Share your story. Your experiences can inspire and guide others. Offer practical mm. advice. Share what worked for you. Be a sounding board. Lend a listening ear to others. Encourage networking. Create a supportive network. Emphasize resilience and self-care. Look after yourself. And here are a few actionable steps entrepreneurs can take. One, keep a close eye on finances. Stay on top of your cash flow. Set up automatic payments and pay bills on time. Two, improve credit score. Check your credit regularly. Pay bills on time. Keep credit utilization low. Three, network with other entrepreneurs. Build relationships with other business owners. Share tips and advice. Four, practice self-care. Make time for yourself. Get enough sleep. Eat well. Exercise. Five, set goals. Write down specific, measurable goals and create a plan to achieve them. By following these steps, entrepreneurs can... Um, they can find uh, themselves to be more receptive to opportunities. They can find greater yeah. financial stability and a healthier cash flow, mm -hmm. improved credit score, which can lead to better financing options and lower interest rates, a supportive network of fellow entrepreneurs to turn to for advice and collaboration, That's increased hard. mental and physical well-being, which can improve productivity and creativity, clear goals and a roadmap for achieving them, which can provide motivation and direction. Remember, these steps are not a quick fix but rather a long-term investment in the entrepreneur's personal and business success. By taking action and committing to these steps, entrepreneurs can build a stronger foundation for their business and set themselves up for greater success in the future. I like that. Let's wrap it up with some inspiring quote from some histor historic figure. <laughs> <clears throat> Sounds good. Here's a quote from the legendary entrepreneur and business magnate, Henry Ford. Failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. This quote speaks to the power of resilience and the importance of learning from mistakes. It's a reminder that even when things don't go as planned, we can always pick ourselves up learn from the experience, and come back stronger. For entrepreneurs, this quote is particularly relevant as they often face setbacks and challenges along the way. But by embracing failure as a learning opportunity, they can use it as a stepping stone towards success. As you share this quote with your clients, you can encourage them to see their own setbacks as opportunities for growth and to keep pushing forward, no matter how difficult the road may seem. After all, as Henry Ford also said, the only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. <laughs>